Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris has been sworn in as Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. A swearing-in ceremony was held on Sunday morning at Government House, presided over by Governor General, His Excellency Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton, GCMG CVO QCJP LLD, following the Team Unity Coalition's victory at the polls on Friday. During the proceedings, His Lordship Justice Trevor Ward QC administered the Oath of Allegiance, the Oath of Office, and the Oath of Secrecy to Dr. Harris. In his address at the ceremony, Dr. Harris said it is now time to look to delivering on the promises made during the campaign. I promise the administration which I will lead will not let down the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Today the work of building more homes, bigger and larger, of creating new jobs and new opportunities for our young people and continuing to keep our people and country safe. Today, that work begins in earnest. We shall create the modern history of St. Kitts and Nevis by making it the example of the best managed small island state. He also recognized outgoing members of cabinet for their service over the past five years. I particularly want to thank our outgoing Team Unity Cabinet, which has worked hard over the last five plus years to deliver for every Kittishan and Nivijan. A strong platform has been provided for the incoming cabinet to continue the build out of the Garden of Eden for St. Kitts and Nevis. Among those in attendance at the ceremony were resident Taiwanese Ambassador His Excellency Tom Lee, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Sean Richards, and Cabinet Secretary Josephine Huggins. Dr. Harris leads the People's Labour Party, one-third of the Team Unity Coalition. The other parties are the People's Action Movement and the Concerned Citizens Movement. A similar ceremony to swear in the ministers that make up the federal cabinet will be held at a later date. 